think we should be a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Look. I just don't know. It's shown me that I'm good at helping people. I can do that here. Uh, if I hi. Do anything here, Kate. You know they don't want any of the rest of us like they want you. Would you be happy and never see... I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey. <clears throat> Where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We've got to save my brother. He's still in their custody. And I'm scared what they might do to him. Told you we couldn't trust him. You were right. I'm sorry about what's going on with David. But we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi! Sorry. We can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. At least we're all still together. Look, this isn't a glass half full situation. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. He's my brother, Kate. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. Damn straight we do. And we might have to face those muertos. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just... Shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy.
Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? I trust her enough for right now, and that's what's important. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone, other than you and Kate, Mariana. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. Get 
Harvey, you're bleeding. Are, are you okay? Oh my God. I'll be fine. Are, are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah. sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. <sighs> Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're... Growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Wake up! Talk to me! Wow, that guy is really out of it. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Well, these could come in handy.
Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. <sighs> you weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. It's a butterfly! <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Bark, bark! <laughs> Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila! Hey! Get away from him! You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck... Well... Well, that was a, a long time ago. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking. It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. 
AJ could use a friend his own age. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Helped him forget about all this. For a moment, anyway. I'm sure it helped you, too. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just... happy? Huh. First time in a while. We're family, Kenny. All of us. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Come out of there now! All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really. I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. It'll make sense to you one day, Clem. You'll realize David did what he needed to do for AJ. For you. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. I failed him. It's my fault. The thought of losing him, of being alone again. There was no way. It's not your fault. Nobody wants to be alone in this world. At least you have something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Just don't forget to look out for number one. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. 
And when you do, life will be worth living again. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. I'm sorry about all of this. Really, I am. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. There's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. Okay. Good luck out there, kid. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. You're welcome. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. You're probably right. I, I don't deserve an answer at this point. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Why don't you do it yourself? I, I can't. I'm a fucking coward. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it.
Javi, I have to know. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, we're right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Everyone's got their vices. Doesn't make him a bad person. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't joke about that sort of stuff. For all I know, this is something he's been dealing with for a long time. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We've still got time to get in front of this before Joan can do anything. Yeah! Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna sit around and wait for her to find us. I'm liking the cut of your jib, Javi. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? 
Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. We got it stitched up. It's fine. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you, but you thought killing him would be easier. You shot him! You killed him! What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man! You let me think the walkers had killed him! He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Hobby. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Hobby. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We could take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Hey, Gabe, come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah, okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here.
be careful. Any more muertos pushing? Those boards won't hold up. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Sturdy, but only room for one. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. We've got company. Hell yeah. This graveyard ship is killing me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? Can't start the engine, not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. Just push the damn truck. All right? What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing all the work. You're the one trying to have a conversation here. That's more like it. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office.
Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Firecutter should help with this. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. It really Where takes you back, doesn't them? it? Just you and me and Gabe no, and Mari. Better times. There I go, making myself sad again. Glutton for punishment, I guess. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on, that's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ugh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Well, one of the best drugs. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Better than what got handed to them. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? I know sitting here wishing isn't gonna change a damn thing. 
I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I know you have your reasons. You don't have to share. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> no pressure or anything, all right? I'm sorry, Kate. I... Oh, God. I just can't see it between us. So all those times you said stuff, I was just imagining it? Years together on the road, the looks, the hints of something more. You're saying none of that meant what I thought it did. David's not just some guy in our lives. He's my brother. I don't see him being okay with this, ever. I can't do that to him. So, you're saying you do feel something? It doesn't matter, Kate. It can't go anywhere. I guess a part of me always knew you didn't feel the same way. God knows I pushed you a couple times, but you always said no. I guess I have to finally listen. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. we got to get over there. Now. close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Then you can drive into the square and pick us up. Just stay out of sight. We'll be in touch as soon as we can. else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. We're not going to know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm going to be. Glad to hear it. the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, 
Our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... She's lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless? This cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. She's good at turning everyone against him. Dad. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Don't make me ask twice. Why should I, huh? What are you after? You think I'm trying to pull a fast one on you? She knows we're here now. We might as well. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? 